I know Digital Stream mentions this in stream on the Dev Stream 159, but honestly, I didn't think they would mention all this. So they had system changes, layout changes, and now they have HUD changes, which I didn't think they were going to bring full HUD changes, but they did. So this is everything about the HUD changes, all right? You can change literally everything from the icons, how it appears, the color, like literally everything, the color, just all color wise. You can customize everything that appears on your screen with color. So I'm talking about layout, talking about text, color, like everything is looking perfectly colored in my way how I want to see it. So starting from the top, you have vitals, right? You got the health, you got the shield, you have over shields, which is buffs, basically. Um, armor, you have invulnerable health, invulnerable shield, object health. Sorry, object health, why did I say that? I said <laughs> buffs, all right? Uh, you got debuffs and a pars on kill range. Now, you can't see it on the screen because they're level 2 enemies, so. You got selected ability, unselected, which you see on the bottom of here. So, my selected ability is purple. My unselected ability is blue. So, the, the appearance of the ability color is blue, but when I cast it, it's purple. So, there you go. R reticle. Um, I'm not really, the combat feedback, I'm not really for sure on that. The hit indicator, which is, uh, going to be whatever my color is. Headshot indicator, which is nice. Oh, the hit indicator is your, um, your zoom in, basically. So, the thing that aims. Um, your headshot indicator, good. Your critical, your critical, which is a critical hit, I'm guessing. And then the big critical hit, and then the super critical hit which I have different colors. So we'll be taking a look at that soon. I'm going to be using a really high crit weapon to do that. You got your mini map. You got the ground layout, which is my color. You got the outline, which is the outline, the lining of it. So let's go ahead and change the color to that. And you'll basically see what I'm talking about. You see the lining now change blue. And then I could change it back to the color that I had it. Uh, we had the, the high evolution outline, which is... I think it's like that top right there if you see the cache. I'm not really for sure what that really means, but yeah. And then low elevation. I don't know if I say high elevation, but low elevation outline is that color. Markers, friendly, enemy, loot, down teammates, object, attack, attraction, tactical, highlight, focus, life support, module, dojo, uh, notables, relay, notables. Town Notables, Rail Jack, My Loot, Salvage Loot, Energy Spawner, and etc. Just so much you can color it. So, go ahead and do that for yourselves, guys, because there's so much you can do. Honestly, I really love how it looks. My Carry Prime looks good with color. My Warframe looks good with color of how it looks for energy. I'm oh, sorry. Not, yeah, not just on the energy, but the shield. The um, We have health, purple looks amazing and enemies as well like i showed earlier in the video this is going to be the layout changes now so this is everything and if you want to click on uh to get a warframe quickly and basically what i mean is that you'll be able to pick a warframe and i'm oh, sorry no i'm in the wrong thing you got to go out you can choose from different warframes the slots all right profile all that all right, this is your loadouts. That's what I meant to say, your loadouts. And the loadout changes are different. The animation, I'm guessing, or the photo for your Warframe is different, all right, because it's all changed. So this is the system. What you saw before was the HUD changes. And let's go ahead and take out further to the HUD changes. Like we took out earlier, we took out the, the combat feedback, basically. And for critical, it's blue. For big critical hit is going to be purple. I might change this. I might change this. I think I might want it to be actually that color. Because blue doesn't yeah, it doesn't work in my favor. 
So the big critical hit is going to be purple. The super critical hit, which used to be red, is now going to be green. And I want it to look like that. So here we go. Which is green. Oh, that looks really nice. It looks stupid, I know, but it looks really nice. <laughs> that looks so amazing, guys. Uh, so you see the purple stuff right now? Those are my buffs. So you can color however you want, guys. This looks, however, so nice, man. Like, <laughs> oh, yeah. I, I'm gonna enjoy this so much. So they brung something, a huge change to this. Which honestly, I wasn't really expecting that. But however, now we can expect it. So new system and HUD changes. Let me know what you guys think about this in the comments below because this is actually amazing. Um, you guys could take a further look. All right, all you gotta do is go to your options and you know, go to your accessibility and look at your HUD changes. Really amazing stuff. So let me know in the comments below what you guys think about this. But that's all for the video. If you guys did enjoy it, make sure you leave a like and subscribe if you're new to the channel. Follow me on all social medias and Twitch. Link are in the description. Thank you so much for watching. Love you guys. And I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.